33 that is electricity question and the question is which graph shows how the resistance R of a filament lamp varies with the potential applied potential difference V has V increased to normal operation operating potential difference here the graphs are given to us so if we can see the graph between current versus voltage so the graph for that one is like this and here when the resistance increases the temperature increases the resistance increase while the current decrease this is the graph between current versus voltage but now our graph is between r versus voltage here So we can say the behavior of the filament lamp is as the applied potential difference increases as the voltage increases the current increases in that this will make the filament lamp getting hotter and causes resistance of the lamp to increase hotter and that causes the resistance to increase in that so it's mean that we can say as the voltage increases so the resistance increases in that one so we are going to get a and if we are going to say this one so basically this graph is i versus v for that that's not possible the resistance change and here the resistance is high the voltage is less that also be not possible so the correct answer is a Question 34 is about the Kirchhoff's law. There are two laws for the electric circuit can be derived from the conservations, conservation laws. On which, uh, on which conservation laws of laws do Kirchhoff's law depends? So if we can see the first law is about current. The sum of current into the junction is equal to the sum of current out of the junction. So we are saying that is basically I equal Q over T. We can say that that is conservation of charge. So it means the first law is conservation of charge. So this and this one is not possible. Second law is about the EMF. The sum of EMF is equal to the sum of potential difference across each load. So it's mean the voltage is basically we can see that the energy our charge so in that case that one is conservation of energy so when that one is the conservation of energy so it's mean that our correct answer is B first law is the conservation of charge second law is the conservation of energy so basically you can say this for that I total into the junction is equal to i total out of the junction so this is conservation of charge this is conservation of energy so the correct answer is b next question is about again the electricity The diagram shows a circuit. Which statement about the circuit is not correct? Very careful. Need to be very careful for this kind of question where the examiner mentioned not correct. The students, they are so tense in exam and always they choose, oh, the first statement is correct. They choose A. No. We need to read each and every statement in that and then we need to find our correct answer for that one. Electromotive force equal energy over charge so the first one is correct energy is transferred from always battery convert chemical energy to electrical energy they said chemical potential energy and to sell to other form exactly right the electromotive force of a cell is greater than of course that one is greater because due to internal resistance always this value is smaller 
when the switch is open the voltmeter measure no that is incomplete circuit and the voltmeter doesn't measure the emf that measure the voltage drop across bulb and that when that one is open so no voltage so it's mean that this one is not correct and i will make one video for emf and potential difference so i will make the comparison of these two in detail soon so now the question number 36 again the question number 36 is for electricity part here they said that the diagram shows a circuit containing four voltmeter the reading on voltmeters are v1 v2 v3 and v4 all the readings are positive v1 v2 v3 and v4 which equation relating the voltmeter reading is correct so when we have the parallel circuit so for parallel circuit so it's mean we can say that the voltage is same across each so we can say our situation is this one but there is no such equations so it's mean that we need to think some different way so if you can see here for the d part that they are saying the v3 plus v4 sum of these two minus if we can subtract this one that one equals zero so it's mean that that one basically you can say that's zero this is one of the possibilities suppose i am giving the value to this one is suppose 12 volt the battery has 12 volts this is connected you can say that the parallel so it's mean this also be 12 volt this is here these are the total one is 12 but across each one we are going to get 6 volt this should also be 6 volt now if i can plug the value in last so 6 plus 6 minus 12 equal 0 and that is our correct answer for question 36 so the correct answer is d rest you can verify for my given values while the total voltage from here to here is 12 but when we have these two resistors are connected in parallel so we can say that the total voltage across these two one is 12 across each one is 6 and that because they are connected in series after that question number 19 sorry not 19 37 again the circuit question they said a network consists of 3 ohm and 6 ohm resistors 3 ohm 6 ohm connected in parallel while the 6 ohm is connected here and this is our power supply that one is 4 volt what is the current through the resistor this current here we are going to find current across this one so this is our question so in this question first of all we can find the total resistance of the circuit r total and if you can use this formula if you can see these two ones are connected in parallel so it's mean 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3 this is the equivalent resistor of these two one that equal 6 1 plus 3 2 so total one is 3 by 6 and we can say r equal 6 by 3 that equal 2 ohm so it's mean the sum of these two ones 2 plus 6 so it's mean total resistance is or 8 ohm in this now we are going to find the current i equal v by r this is total resistance so 4 over divide 8 this gives us 0 0.5 ampere current now we can find here we have the current that one is 0 0.5 ampere we have the resistance we can find the voltage across this one i time r 0 0.5 times 6 and that value is 3 volt so it's mean that when we have 3 volt drop across this one and the total voltage is 4 so it's mean the voltage across this combination is 1 volt both these two resistors they have 1 volt 
they are connected in parallel so now we can find the current across this one so i equal v by r v is 1 r is 3 so our value is 0 0.33 ampere so it's mean the total current here is 0 0.5 0 0.33 ampere is going here and the remaining current 0 0.5 minus this one is flowing through going through the 6 ohm resistor so our correct answer is c question number 38 and the circuit shown all the resistors are identical and all the emitters have negligible internal resistance so the reading a1 is given to us that this reading a1 is 0 0.6 ampere and what are the reading on the other emitter so it's mean a2 a3 and a4 we are going to find so first across reading and a1 is 0 0.6 we are going to use the Kirchhoff second law in the first loop here to find the equation for this now in this loop suppose I am considering this direction of current so we can say that this is R this is R current is this so we can find the value that 0 0.6 current here 0 0.6 current here so our equation become 0 0.6 r plus 0 0.6 r equal emf if this is e e is i am using for emf here so it means we can write it as 1.2 r equal e this is our first equation that now we are unable to find the current across a2 now what we are doing Now we have one resistor across A3 while our EMF now we know that that one is E across all these one. A3 branch is parallel with EMF. This is parallel to this one here. So we can find the value we know that across this one here we can use E equal I time R. Only one resistor we have and we can find the current value so we can write I equal E by R and E is 1.2 R divide R so we get 1.2 ampere current so it's mean this current is 1.2 ampere very interesting thing if you can see, notice here when we have two all these are connected parallel this these three resistor and these two ones are connected in parallel when we have two resistor the current value is 0 0.6 ampere when we have one resistor the current is 1.2 now we have three resistor so it's mean the current is 1 over 3 so 1 over 3 of 1.2 and that equal 1 over 3 of 1.2 that we get 1.2 over 3 that one is 1.2 over 3 that is 0 0.4 so it's mean that this current is 0 0.4 ampere now here this current is coming through this and then that current is going here and here when this one is 1.2 this one is 0 0.4 by using Kirchhoff's first law we can find this I2 so I2 basically equal to uh, sum of these two one leaving the junction I3 plus I4 and I3 is 1.2 this is 0 0.4 so our I2 is 1.6 so this is 1.6 so it's mean A1 is 0 0.6 A2 is 1 point you can say that uh, 6 and a3 is 1.2 and this one is 0 0.4 so it's mean our correct answer is sorry here I have made the smaller mistake 
so the current and this one is uh, this one is one point here you can see this is the total here we have 0 0.6 these two one here if we can see the current remaining current is going to this way here we can say that is 1.2 uh, plus 1.0.4 is 1.6 so it's mean the total current here is sum of these two one that one is 2.2 so our correct answer is D last question is about nuclear physics and this is given to us that we have the three quarks and based on these three quarks we are going to find the value of you can say that the hadrons that one is e plus e the diagram shows the quark composition of four different hydrons one of the hadron is sigma plus particle it has a charge of plus e where e is the elementary charge which hadron could be sigma positive particle so we are going to find e plus now first we need to know where there are basically three quarks up down strange value of up is 2 by 3 e value of down is minus 1 over 3 e value of s is plus 1 over 3 e now we if we can uh, do the sorry minus 1 for this first one minus 1 over 3 e minus 1 over 3 e plus 1 over 3 e so the value net value come minus 1 over 3 e that is not similarly you can check second and third when we are doing for the last one 2 over 3e up plus 2 over 3e up plus 1 over 3e strange this values come uh, 1 over you can say that the the 5 over 3e that is basically 1.6e but keep it in mind the charge always quantize never be half so when the charge is always quantize q equal n e so it's mean our this value should be 1e plus 1e so that's why the answer is d for that one here sorry question number 39 is we missed that question so now we are going to do that question number 39 is about the nuclear physics and unstable nucleus of an element decay by emitting alpha beta particle to become a nucleus of different element the nucleus is also unstable and also emit alpha particles or beta particle the process continue until an isotope of the original element is produced what is the minimum number possible number of these particle emits suppose first time the beta uh, negative emit so when the beta negative emits so a atomic number remain same sorry atomic mass remains same while the atomic number increase by one the second time if we can see again for beta negative so then a remain same it nuclear number same while the z become z plus two second time so this is our second beta negative after that if we have the alpha during alpha the a decrease by 4 when that one decrease by 2 so this become z plus 2 minus 2 so that become isotope when the atomic number same so it's mean this is the isotope of that one so we can say that basically 2 beta and 1 alpha particles and that one so our answer is